Mike Mulligan and His Steam Shovel, Story and Pictures by Virginia Lee Burton. Mike Mulligan had a steam shovel, a beautiful red steam shovel. Her name was Mary Ann. Mom, I want a hat like Mike Mulligan. Oh, yeah. Mike Mulligan was very proud of Mary Ann. He always said that she could dig as much in a day as a hundred men could dig in a week. But he had never been quite sure that this was true. Mike Mulligan and Marianne had been digging together for years and years. Mike Mulligan took such good care of Marianne, she never grew old. It was Mike Mulligan and Marianne and some others who dug the great canals for the big boats to sail through. It was Mike Mulligan and Marianne and some others who cut through the high mountains so that trains could go through. It was Mike Mulligan and Marianne and some others who lowered the hills and straightened the curves to make the long highways for automobiles. Wow. <laughs> it was Mike Mulligan and Marianne and some others who smoothed out the ground and filled the holes to make the landing fields for airplanes. Mom, well, but the shell was too big to dig little holes. I think they were big holes. I think we didn't see them. Big holes. Oh. And it was Mike Mulligan and Marianne and some others who dug the deep holes for sellers of tall skyscrapers in big cities. When people used to stop and watch them, Mike Mulligan and Marianne used to dig a little faster and a little better. And the more people stopped, the faster and better they dug. Some days they would keep as many as 37 trucks busy taking away dirt that they had dug. Then came along the new gasoline shovels, the new electric shovels, and the new diesel motor shovels. And it took all the jobs away from the steam shovels. Mike Mulligan and Marianne were very sad. You know what this says? What? No steam shovels wanted. All the other steam shovels were being sold for junk or left out in the gravel pits to rust or fall apart. Mike loved Marianne and he couldn't do that to her. He had taken such good care of her that she could still dig as much in a day as a hundred men could dig in a week. At least he thought she could, but he wasn't quite sure. Everywhere they went, the new gas shovels and the new electric shovels and the new diesel motor shovels had all the jobs. Mom, this looks like a cracked boat with the, all the sails and the It tubes. does, but those are where all the steam shovels fell and were rusted out in the pits. No one wanted Mike Mulligan and Marianne anymore. Then one day, Mike read in the newspaper that the town of Popperville was going to build a new town hall. We're going to dig the cellar for that town hall, said Mike to Marianne, and off they started. They left the canals and the railroads and the highways and the airports and the big cities where no one wanted them anymore, and they went way out into the country. They crawled along slowly up the hills and down the hills till they came to the little town of Popperville. When they got there, they found that the selectmen were just deciding who would dig the cellar for the new town hall. Mike Mulligan spoke to Henry B. Swap, one of the selectmen. I heard, he said, that you are going to build a new town hall. Marianne and I will dig the cellar for you in just one day. What? said Henry B. Swap. Dig a cellar in a day? It would take a hundred men at least a week to dig a cellar for our new town hall. Sure, said Mike, but Marianne can dig as much in a day as a hundred men can dig in a week. Though he had never been quite sure that this was true. Then he added, if we can't do it, you won't have to pay. Henry B. Swap that this would be an easy way to get part of the cellar dug for nothing. So he smiled in a rather mean way and gave the job of digging the cellar to the new town hall of the new town hall to Mike Mulligan and Marianne. 
They started early in the morning, just as the sun was coming up. Soon a little boy came along. Do you think you'll finish by sundown? He said to Mike Mulligan. Sure, said Mike. If you stay and watch us, we'll, we always work faster and better when someone's watching us. So the little boy stayed to watch. Then Mrs. McGillicuddy, Henry B. Swap, and the town constable came to see what was happening. They stayed to watch. Mike Mulligan and Marianne dug a little faster and a little better. This gave the little boy a good idea. He ran off and told the postman with the morning mail, the telegraph boy on his bicycle, the milkman with his cart and horse, the doctor on his way home, and the farmer and his family coming into town for the day, and they all stopped and stayed to watch. That made Mike Mulligan and Marianne dig a little faster and a little better, and they finished the first corner neat and square, but the sun was getting higher. Clang, 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 the fire department arrived. They'd seen the smoke and thought there was a fire. Then the boy said, why don't you stay and watch? So the fire department of Pockerville just stayed to watch Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. When they heard the fire engine, the children in the school across the street couldn't keep their eyes on their lessons. The teacher called a long recess and the whole school came out to watch. That made Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann dig a little faster and still better. Oh, a little bit more words here. Thank you. They finished the second corner neat and square, but the sun was right up on top of the sky. Now the girl who answered the telephone called up the next towns of Bangerville and Fopperville and Kipperville and Copperville and told them what was happening in Popperville. All the people came over to see if Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel could dig the cellar in just one day. The more people came, the faster Mike Mulligan and Marianne dug, but they would have to hurry. They were only halfway through and the sun was beginning to go down. They finished the corner neat and square, the third corner neat and square. The sun was beginning to go, to go down, what that mean? Sunset soon. Sunset soon. Never had Mike Mulligan and Marianne had so many people to watch them. Never had they dug so fast and so well, and never had the sun seemed to go down so fast. Hurry, Mike Mulligan, hurry, hurry, shouted the little boy. There's not much more time. Dirt was flying everywhere, and the smoke and the steam were so thick, but the people could hardly see anything. But listen, bang, 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 crash, slam, louder and louder, faster and faster. Ah, <sighs> then suddenly it was quiet. Slowly, the dirt settled down and the smoke and the steam cleared away. And there was the cellar, neat, all finished. Four corners, neat and square. Four walls, straight down. And Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann at the bottom. And the sun was just going down behind the hill. Hooray, shouted the people. Hooray for Mike Mulligan and his steam shovel. They have dug the cellar in just one day. Ta -da. <laughs> Ta -da. Suddenly, a little boy said, how are they going to get out? That's right, said Mrs. McGillicuddy to Henry, Henry B. Swap. How is he going to get his steam shovel out? Hey, what? Marianne has a question mark coming out of her thing. Where? Has a question mark. Oh, she doesn't know. I'd never noticed that the steam was a question mark. That's right. Henry B. Swap said, how is he going to get his steam shovel out? Or Mrs. McGillicuddy said, how is he going to get his steam shovel out? Henry B. Swap didn't answer, but he smiled in a rather mean way. Then everybody said, how are they going to get out? Hi, Mike Mulligan, how are you going to get out of your steam, your steam shovel out? Mike Mulligan looked around at the four square walls and the four square corners and said, We've dug so fast, and we've dug so well that we've quite forgotten to leave a way out. Nothing like this had ever happened to Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann for, and they didn't know what to do. Nothing like this had ever happened in Popperville. Everybody started talking at once, and everybody had a different idea, and everybody thought that his idea was the best idea. 
and they talked and they talked and they argued and they fought and they fought and they argued till they were worn out and still no one knew how to get Mike Mulligan and Marianne out of the cellar that they had dug. Then Henry B. Swap said, the job isn't finished because Marianne isn't out of the cellar. So Mike Mulligan won't get paid. And he smiled again in a Mm -hmm. Now the little boy who had been keeping very quiet had another good idea. He said, why couldn't we leave Marianne in the cellar and build a new town hall above her? Let her be the furnace for the new town hall and let Mike Mulligan be the janitor. And then you won't have to buy a new furnace and we could pay Mike Mulligan for digging the cellar in just one day. Why not? said Henry B. Swap and he smiled in a way that was not quite so mean. Why not, said Mrs. McGillicuddy. Why not, said the town constable. Why not, said all the people. So they found a ladder and climbed down into the cellar to ask Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. Why not, said Mike Mulligan. And so it was decided and everybody was happy. They built the new town hall right over Mike Mulligan and Marianne. It was finished before winter. Every day, the little boy goes to see Mike Mulligan and Marianne. And Mrs. Is this it? That is the town hall. Yeah, the little red building. And there's Mrs. McGillicuddy, and there's the little boy. And it says that Mrs. McGillicuddy brings Mike Mulligan and Marianne nice hot apple pie. See, she's holding a pie. As for Henry B. Swap, he spends most of his time in the cellar of the new town hall listening to stories that Mike Mulligan has to tell and smiling in a way that isn't mean at all. Now, when you go to Popperville, be sure to go down into the cellar of the new town hall. There they'll be Mike Mulligan and Mary Ann. Mike in his rocking chair, smoking his pipe and Marianne beside him, warming up the meetings in the town hall. Mom, the end. Popperville? Is there a Popperville? I don't know, what do you think? Do you think there's really a Popperville? Mm. Hmm. That's a very interesting thought. Something to think about. If you go to Popperville, you better go to the town hall. In the cellar.